I feel like in terms of your own practice and, and what you've said on this call, like I, I feel like um, there's no specific imageries that I have. There's no specific interpretation that I'm looking for. You can go crazy. <laughs> okay. In that sense, it wouldn't make sense for me to try to even att have attempt to actualize any of the imagination that Li An has in those words. And I thought, okay, I'm gonna dream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep on it. You know, I'm gonna mm -hmm. let my body um, and my super consciousness, you know, the higher mind, to to channel the word to me. You know, to tap in, to channel, go to those authentic soul and heart place. Um, that that I can actually access the true information, but not from the brain. You know, the brain is like trying to say, okay, there is a lake. You know, there is like you know water, and there's like you know geese. You know, it's like no, no, no. We're not looking for those literal images. You know, there are much deeper uh, journey that this work is actually unfolding and leading, right, guiding us to. I feel like this conversation for me is the container. And I feel like I couldn't ask uh, from a collaborator any more than what you've given in terms of engagement and presence and, and like full body, full spirit, full emotional engagement with the work. I feel like I've put all my artistic and creative energy into the piece right now that you have and now i i feel like i just want to almost use that to facilitate your um artistic interpretation of the of the piece there are so much information in the body and sensation that is unfolding while listening to the music and, and hearing the text right those words are so profound in her work it brings out so much imagination images um so i didn't want to have sort of that especially white grief but I, and if, if that grief tension trauma is in the background of the poem because i wanted i wanted brown people to i wanted it to, to be a space of affirmation and love and joy i wanted it to kind of reflect the reality like it's always there in my life Sometimes it becomes very overwhelming, but there is also space for joy and for love and for celebration and for breath and for like life. There, there has to, there has to be. I think my our ancestors were very good at at that. My time was spent feeling really shut down, and I, and I found with this project as well when Leanne approached me saying, "Hey, you know, what what can we be doing? Can we can we collaborate on something?" Uh, initially, I thought, "Oh." Hell no, I don't think I have the like creative energy here, right? And then um, and then I started just diving into it and listening to it and working with it and was starting to think, wow, okay, this is actually really soothing. I can do this. Your music, yeah. I didn't know you then too, right? I didn't know who you were <laughs> until like I, I did some research later on to like and then found out like, oh yeah, you compose music and Liam told me a little bit like your sister. Sammy so talked about bringing his dad in to do part of the graphic. That's one of the things about this project and doing this project at that at this time is that we're in this sense of heightened isolation and disconnection. And so you've got to rely on those people that are in your bubble <laughs> <laughs> to make your art. And that this project has a really strong, like it's two families. And um, I think that's really special. While well, during that process, I, I went to see my dad, and I saw him was he was carving this this like print thing, and I was like, wow, this is the kind of texture that's gonna was looking for, something that's earthy, more organic. And so when I saw my dad, I'm like, dad, can we collaborate on this thing? Well, I the first thing that I did was I listened to the track and read the text, and I and I, I went to bed with it and then see what kind of dream that came in. And I'll listen to it again uh, when I first wake up and then just write them down. One of the big things is that because the text and the music brought, brought us so much of this, like immense thousands of layers of images, abstract images, texture in my head, and it's multi-dimensional too, right? In that, when I first experienced it, 
I thought, you know, I gotta find a way to、uh, to do that without, you know, taking away from the imagination of the viewer, right? We don't want them to be thinking about or looking at certain images where there can be filling. Uh, multi-dimensional layers of images at once from the text and the music, you know. So I thought it's something that needs to be so intricate, so complex, and so free from、uh, certain certain limitation of the recognition of certain image、uh, or certain symbol, right? It was it was beautiful, and it was exactly what I had envisioned. And it's like that's very very rare, I think, in these kind of artistic collaborations.、Um, but I think you know, reflecting back on it, it was because we weren't relying on on words and kind of the intellectual brain. And、um, I think Sammy did a lot of work to get everybody on the project in the same frequency. So I thought it was just、um, just the perfect. A visual representation of of the song and of those lyrics, and、um, I think it's such a good thing to watch before people read the book because I think that's what you have to read the book. The book isn't written in a <laughs> in a normal kind of Western novel sort of way, and so there are things that you have to kind of、uh, suspend in your brain. There are things that you have to let go of in order to be able to to come into the book, and I think this is really the perfect coming into. Once you move through cold, there is Pacific. Once you move through Pacific, there is placid. Once you move through placid, there is a condition of expanse. And it was in that condition of expanse that held me. I heard them singing above me. Mashkawaje fell through the ice to find quiet. Get out of the wind to visit with Namegos. They all sang. Mashkawaje stitches up the hole. They are so cold they can't move. They are frozen stiff. The lake is their blanket. They all sang. Mashkawaje is frozen stiff. Still. No one knows if they're coming back. They all sang. Akewenze is fishing through the ice with a spear. They brought a line of beads. They will wait patiently. They will wait until Mashkawaje is done their visit. The singing and drumming came every night from a distance. Different choirs every evening at dusk. Marking the passage of time, reminding me there is still love. You see, tragedy happened again. The details don't matter because the details are hopeless, overwhelmed, shut down. Know this: after two years, the best parts of me are still frozen in the lake. My limbic system. Its best friend, the prefrontal cortex, and the hollow, pumping organ in which I keep benevolence. The only one that regularly comes to visit is Akuenze. In the winter, they park their truck on the ice, drill a hole with the auger, and fish until the cold makes their bones crack. As soon as the ice is off the lake. Akawenze is back in their boat with a torch and a sort of pitchfork for spearing pickerel. In the dead of summer, Akawenze sneaks back before first light in their canoe, before their cottagers and their jet skis are out. In the fall, they sprinkle tobacco around me and sing. My world is muted. I look out. If something upsets me, 
I just wait and the upset passes. I sit beside. Sometimes I remember the other me before I was frozen in the lake. I remember caring and engaging and the sharpness of unmuted feeling. I remember a hopeless connection. I don't feel stuck in part because I don't feel anything. Their song isn't wrong. The ice is like a warm, weighted blanket. My form dissolved when tragedy came, and if I am fluid, the ice is container. There are ashes in my eyes. I am so far inside myself, like Miss Squadesi on a full fast inside time, pulled inside their organs, inside their turtle shell, inside the sediments of the lake, while the ice world forms on top oblivious to the outside with body as lake and there is solace in being cut off and there is freedom enmeshed within that state know this being frozen in the lake is another kind of life know this it is unclear how long before I will be done with my visit it is unclear how long visiting takes Visiting is more of a dance than an event. A kawenze is my will. The Nautic is my lungs. Mindemoya is my conscience. Sabe is my marrow. A dick is my nervous system. A sin is my eyes and ears. Lucy is my brain. I believe everything these seven say because ice distorts perception and trust replaces critique, examination, interrogation. I believe everything these seven say, even though, even though. I believe everything these seven say, even though their truths are their own, not mine. I believe in the absence of my own heart, I will accept the hearts of these seven. The keys fly overhead in the sheer grace of a carefully angled formation designed to take them elsewhere. There are still stars. There are still stars.